Oh. That's my second. That's my first break. So I got I got two more. I, I think I think this is probably my third one. So I might be stuck on Warframe for the rest of my life. I don't know. <laughs> See, I'm trying to find a good game that I could get stuck on for the rest of my life. I used to play Halo for all eternity, but that died forever ago. But anyway, that's enough about that. We can go ahead and, I believe, start the show, even though you got to go. Let's see if we can get through it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anime Talk Show Tuesday. This is episode 21 with our special guest show. Um, I'm your host, Dr. Underscore One, as you know, and I have my co-host here. Mr. Hawkick. And we have our guest as well. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> No, really, hello? Yeah, you're good. Just laughter. All right, I got it. No, my name's the Nerdy Boy. Uh, I'm a dead streamer. Um, and honestly, I got to masturbate in like two hours. So if it stretches beyond that, I got to go. Oh, man. Nah, totally, totally okay. Know the feel. Uh, but anyway, thank you for joining us. I'm sure I'm going to just kind of brought you out of the blue. Yeah, thank, thank yep. you for joining us. Welcome to the uh, also community here. If you decide to come hang out, stay, all that good stuff. But uh, let's start off with a couple of questions about you. What do you do? Uh, what do you like to do? Tell us about your life. You know, you work. What do I like to do? All that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I like to. Uh... Fuck. I haven't done this recently, but I mean, it's either play League. I like to edit videos, uh, and I dally in some some game programming. Huh. That's kind of nifty. Ooh. So. Is there like something that you're working on? No, I just I, I'm just studying it right now. Oh, you're studying it. Okay, I thought you yeah. might be working on like a small little. I wish. Game to fuck around with. I wish. That's that's like the goal. The goal is to just make goals. one game. So. Yeah, I'll be right there with you. At some point, I'll I'll need to dick around with game design and actually do it. I've got a bunch of, um, like Unreal and Unity and Lumberyard. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to make the game idea I have. So it's, it's great, like, I have ideas, I just can't put them into existence. And then what's going to suck is whenever it comes to the art part, like, I, do, I cannot draw, so it's just going to be like, here's this misshapen thing, it's a gun, just accept it. <laughs> it's an alien that's actually, gun. That's actually kind of really funny, that's, that's the same thing with me. I feel like I'm really scatterbrained when trying to come out with, like, project-related stuff. So, like, uh, I worked on my, my YouTube channel uh, recently, and I plan to keep working on it, it's just my... My re-addiction to League has pulled me away. But, um, like, when I worked on my League stuff, or not my least, on my YouTube channel, I felt like my ideas were just getting squished together in my hands into one big ball. It didn't feel coherent mm -hmm. and whatnot, like, the way it came together. I feel like I like the way it came out. It's just the process is just very, ugh. Yeah, and, like, again, definitely. with the programming stuff, I don't do art, so I have that same issue. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, mm, yeah, that, that right there, that's a good and then there's me, who created all of this on the channel right now. <laughs> That's what's up. Right? Yeah, alrighty then. Uh, so, let's start off with the first question. What kind of anime do you like to watch, and do you have a preferred genre? Ooh. I think... I like to watch fantasy anime. I think that's my favorite. My favorite genre, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, though, I've been really into the more outlandish stuff. I've been getting into Kekai Sensen Season 2. Um, One Punch Man isn't really outlandish, but like considering the general anime out there, it's pretty out there. You know what I mean? It definitely has a lot more of a Western vibe to it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Death Parade, uh, Magus Bride. I don't know if you guys have seen Magus Bride or heard of oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That's so it. fucking good. It um, is. And yeah, just stuff, really just stuff like that. I've been, I've been really going broad almost. With it's what good, I've been it's watching, good. it's been varying. Yeah, you know, gotta get yourself good broad. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, so, what is your favorite anime, and what is your favorite episode slash scene from it? Oh fuck! What the <laughs> what the hell? You think I remember that? Okay, hold on. Pause. <laughs> my favorite anime, my favorite scene from what the? How the fuck do you? Okay, I mean, it it just kind of comes and goes. I think. Let me let me change it then. This isn't gonna be my favorite scene, but it's my my most recent favorite scene that I can think of. Uh, for instance, the Magus Bride. I've been really getting into that. There's a lot of Studio Ghibli, Ghibli. I don't know how you guys want to pronounce it. I say Ghibli, uh, Ghibli vibes. And I think the scene. Wait, can I spoil? Is that fine? 
Yes, I mean, we, we 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 are all we uh we run a seasonal like roundup thing and like I have a shit ton of anime under my belt that I watch for each re- like seasonal roundup every every basically every two weeks we do a roundup which is where we're up to date and we talk about the summary of what's going on for everything so you're good okay us. okay um and I've been watching Megas Bread and I think the scene where the main character sort of she, she opens up and she transforms into a phoenix. And she kind of just rides through the sky, and you just hear this just phenomenal music playing. I just think, like, out of all animes I've recently seen, that's probably been the most, like, impactful scene to just kind of, like, throw out there in the middle no, of a it, series. And it's not, it's only, like, halfway done, too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, that's like, like the, the change from the first the, arc to the second arc, Blue. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I believe, like, the, uh, the, all the art, like, for, like, the, like, the really big scenes that they put in. The art in that anime is phenomenal. Oh, That's it's it. amazing. The story is pretty good. Is crazy. Art's great. I mean, it's just it's pretty good. I mean, it makes me, like, I'm a, you know, robot that's dead inside as a human being. I'm, a, I'm one of those. <laughs> and, like, dog, I've cried so many times watching that shit. And I'm like, man, this is yeah, weird. That's, that's a huge thing. Like, it's one episode. I get it's so moving. attached to one character. And I find myself tearing up. I'm like, fuck, dude. Jesus Christ! The only thing that got me to tear up that fast was probably like, uh, the uh, what's that music video? Fuck, I forgot the name of it. It's by Maddion. <laughs> you guys remember no Shelter? Idea. Like the Shelter. animation of that? Oh guy yeah, 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 yeah. The one, uh, fucking what's his name? Uh, that famous DJ did Shelter. Yeah. Yes, that did that it's, too because the music like, did. It was just moving. <laughs> it's just so like impactful. Like Mavis yeah. Bride, they've it's had multiple moments. Where I've just been tear jerked for no fucking reason. I'm like, same. why, dude? Same. Stop exactly. this. This madness. I'm a man. Like, if, not, if not for the music, the uh, the effects and everything, you, you probably wouldn't. Uh, if if these moments happened in your generic anime, you probably wouldn't feel a thing. But nope. because of the combination <laughs> of everything it being done so goddamn well, you're 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 brought to tears. Yeah. And then the yeah, words dude. we're looking for here is it's it's moving is what the I think that's that's actually called. It just moves you. It gets you very involved. Yeah, it's good. Uh, all right. So, immersed. so, but what's your uh, what kind of favorite? Do you, you got a favorite anime currently or no? Do you have a bunch favorite anime? I think. I mean, it's a tie between first season Kekai Sensen and uh, Death Parade. Honestly, Dude, those are those are two pretty good ones. Actually, I don't think I saw Kekai Sensen, which I'm. No, is I, it, uh, I, I'd it was, recommend uh, something it. That came out uh, last season. The the show is yeah. pretty insane. Yeah, the and first that... season's really like the first season kind of opens you up to the world with an actual like serious issue or like villain. I think if you don't read the manga, it's gonna be really hard to follow. I didn't read the manga. I just kind of like looked up as I went on with the show to just kind of get a grasp of what's going on. But the second season just kind of really gets into the characters because there's a lot of side characters. But yeah. I was a little bummed out about it. But hey, I can do with some character yeah. development. You know? I, I gotta say, I think I think my f- favorite episode from that anime though is uh, when that dude with the white hair just kept on stealing the main character's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the very beginning. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. It. Stop telling it's... me I'm running low on disk space. I get asshole. it. Oh wow, I have 186 gigs of space in the recycle bin. That's funny. Jeez. Yikes! Might be time to empty that out. No, that's cool. Shh, fine. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah. That's those are good, good, you know, choices there. I like uh, Death Parade. The, not many people have seen it, but I mean, it's a good one. Um, it's very and, episodic, though. Yeah. That part kind of sucks. Well, what uh, Death Parade? Yeah. Yeah. No. Feels like every episode's it, it, a new it, thing. It is episodic, but when it gets to the end, it all actually it all runs together. It's all building. Yeah. You just you got to pay attention, man. I don't know. This is I, I don't believe in high kick ever like. No, like understanding the the uh, behind the scenes details because of that one anime. There was there was a love triangle that was immediate. And he's like, "There's no love triangle." Like, what are you talking about, dude? It's literally in your face, like screaming at you. That and then uh, they shoved it even more in my face. I was like, "Oh, okay." And, yeah. and then I I brought it up and you're like, "Maybe." And then it got shoved further in your face and you're like, "Oh, okay. I see exactly what's going. On. I, I see what he's talking about now." <laughs> I'm like, "Dude." <laughs> and speaking of like love bullshit, dude. You know what really bummed me out. Consider- I like the fantasy genre, and I was really hype about Sword Art Online, oh. but the anime was just <coughs> so disgustingly bad for me. I'm sorry if anybody <laughs> likes that, but it was just god-fucking-awful. Thank like, 
uh, the we'll, we'll get to that. So bad. We'll, we'll get to okay. that. There's a, there's a okay. question about like what you you know your your okay. least like anime stuff. Let's start around <laughs> that. But uh, so anyway, what kind of effect does anime have on you in your life? What kind of effect? I mean, I don't really weeb out to be honest. I like it's like I, I I like to watch anime but underground. If people bring it up, I'll talk about it. But yeah, I was gonna say I you're weeping really... out pretty good here. So you know. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that's the whole point, though. I think it's, like, it just depends on, like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe when I'm streaming, if someone brings... Like, I won't listen to anime music or anything like that, but if someone brings it up, I'll be like, oh, yeah, and I'll talk about it and whatnot, but I won't... That's I don't really, it. like... You're trying to keep it on down. You're a closet weeb. You're a closet yeah, I'm a, weeb. That's I'm a, what it is. I'm a closet <laughs> weeb, dude. There it is. The funny dude. thing is, is that I, I do listen to anime music, but it's, like, back like the background stuff. So, like, people won't... Oh, that I listen to. Like, they won't realize it until, until they, they ask. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is a soundtrack for, like, Cowboy Bebop. Like, like when I want to get hype or some shit like that, like, I might play some Cowboy Bebop, like, the main theme, Tank. Or tank, yeah. The heavy, the heavy hitting songs from One Punch Man. That shit goes hard. So, oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, let's see, let's I can definitely that. respect that. Ah, okay. Uh, so, uh, how do you normally like to watch anime? Do you just, like, watch it on Crunchyroll? Do you just, like, sit down on the couch, watch it while you eat? You know, just, just tell us a bit about your, you know, your happy kind process. Of, uh, I, you know, I'm just trying to get the right word. You know, it's, it's like, imagine if you just added some extra letters to legal, you know? You know, I don't have, I don't have money, you know, I just, I just oh, try to that's, that's sneak that it. shit in. We, so, uh, uh, we pretty much you know. advertise a illegal website <laughs> all the time, so. This is, yeah, this if, is the if same Crunchyroll thing I doesn't him. have it, if Crunchyroll doesn't have it, I go to fucking like my anime or something. Like I just watch, I just fucking watch that shit illegally, dude. Yeah, I don't know. It, That's all it's not it even, it's not even illegal. I don't think. See, this is how the sites get away with it because the sites are well known by everybody. It's not like they haven't been investigated. How they get around that is the sites just show videos that are from other hosts. The sites themselves have no illegal content on them. Yeah, they're just shared it's, links. It's, Come on, it's still legal. No, yeah, but I'm saying still... I'm saying it's not it's actually not illegal. It's the way yeah, legality right. works. It's the it, person it's just... who actually has it stored on their site, so like it's, MP4 it's... uploaded and stuff. The equivalent to secondhand smoke, but yeah. It's just second yeah, I guess. But by the way, the other thing is whenever you buy videos, uh those are actually yours and you can redistribute them like to show other people and stuff like that. As how well as how uh was it? Copyright is that works. how that works? Yeah, because you you buy I mean, the media, so you own that disc, and you have the right to show it to people. Because if you didn't own it, then like if people came I mean, over like, and you watch movies with them, then it would be illegal that you're watching movies when, with somebody. When you buy like a movie, for instance, they kind of throw that copyright shit you or shit at you in your face. But I'm pretty sure, like in terms of distributing it or distributing it, um, it has to. I think, because I looked it up, actually, for shows and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure there has to be, like, a 21-year date. Like, if it's been 20 year, 21 years since that episode was aired, it's completely fine to just post it wherever the fuck you want. But if mm -hmm. you do post it, you do have to add, like, a bit of context, like, a bit of other stuff. Like, um, for instance, does anybody like H3H3? Yeah. Yeah, like H3H3, how some of their, a lot of their videos, they just do commentary on other videos. Like, that stuff is what keeps it from infringing on copyright, but I'm pretty sure it holds true to just throw in, you know, just random shit out there. I don't know. Yeah, like, you I, commentary counts too, so, like, you can actually stream live events and shit, or, like, pay-per-view stuff on Twitch. Twitch will try to take it down, but if you're if you're on a couch like doing live commentary, yeah. you're not you're not doing anything illegal. And I've had to fight YouTube on that a bunch of times because I run a news talk show, so like we use a lot of videos that like news sites use and stuff. And so, so once, um, like for instance, with the Eminem's like rap song or whatever, like where he's shit talking the President Trump, like that got pulled immediately for something because it was banned or whatever. And I was like, no, fuck you, YouTube. I'm using this in a news format, and we're we're sitting here like there's a video, you know, we're up in the video, green screened over it, you know, or behind it, or near, you know, in the corner, and we're talking about it as it's going on. We're pausing it and doing stuff. So it's like YouTube, you can suck my dick. I mean, <laughs> that's how that works. I mean, oh, dude, YouTube. Oh my fucking god, I've been. I, I've I been get making, copyright striked all the time on that. For I haven't but. been making YouTube videos for a long time, but I remember I'd get copyrighted for having a soundtrack from a game. That too. Game I was playing. Yeah. I, I, I think was we're getting a little sidetracked, though. No, it's yeah. Sidetracked. 
Oh yeah, no, I, I got copyrighted strike like for playing a game that I uploaded, and like the music that was in the game was giving me copyright strikes. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> this, this is dumb. But that uh, happened to uh, people that were playing Fallout. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, anyway, so uh, are you? Let's see. Do you prefer to watch anime while it's airing, or wait and binge it all at the end? That depends. If it's a long time running series, like. Like what about like some juggernauts like Naruto, One Piece, um, One Piece, yeah, Bleach. Well, Bleach is Bleach is done, but like shit Bleach like that. Bleach I is like a dud yet. <laughs> they still have. Well, it's not done, but I think it's kind of lost its steam. Oh yeah, it's no, it handled. definitely has. Definitely it's has. lost its steam, but it might like come back to it someday, but. I hope it does. I haven't started watching because of how I heard it ended. Like, cause I don't like to, you know, read manga. And stuff well, like that. If you if you're uh, avoiding watching Bleach because of that, you all you have to do is the last arc. It, the the arc before it has a good ending. It's uh, not really cliffhangery at all. So yeah, you just, you, as long as you ignore the full bringer arc, you'll be fine. But I think just stuff like that. I I tend to want to binge because if it's a long time running, I can't get over the amount of like. Maybe if it's not filler, like, I know maybe sometimes it's not filler, but still, like, I want to know how it concludes. You know what I mean? I want to know mm -hmm. the ending. And to wait for years upon years, I can't do that. So I try to not bait myself in, and I'll, I'll binge the longer stuff. But if it's, like, a one-year runtime show, I'll, I'll just watch it as it airs. I'm more of a fan yeah. of doing that. Kind of like Ancient Magic Pride, basically. Yeah. That's, that's good. I mean, that's what we do. Uh, so on that note, are you watching anything that's curry, currently airing, which Ancient Magus Bride is? Is there anything else? <sighs> uh, Ancient Magus Bride. Speaking of Cowboy Bebop, I've never actually watched it. Really? At, like, I've, I've seen scenes. I've seen it when I was younger on <clears throat> Toonami. Was yeah, it? Was, it was Adult no, Swim. No, it's on Adult Swim. Swim. Or, I forgot. What was the name of that fucking mascot character whenever they, like, aired anime-related stuff on Adult Swim? Uh, I remember there was, like, a segment way back in the day. Nah, it, it was just Nazi random, Nazi. random ass Adult Swim things. I don't remember exactly what it was. There was all sorts of things. I know Toonami was added on to uh, Adult yeah. Swim. Or not, I think Toonami was a bad, a bad uh, one to... Was it Toonami? I think it was Toonami. I think Toonami was the OG like forever suit. ago. Yeah, it was Toonami from millions of years ago. But yeah, like way back in the day when I was, I'm talking about like when I was like five or something. I would see Toonami on Cartoon Network. Yeah, and that I'd, was when it I'd ran in the middle of the snippets. day. It so the and I'd watch stuff like Inuyasha or Cowboy Bebop. I've actually never watched Inuyasha. I've watched like a bit of the first few episodes, dude. I but I never got into into it. Tried to actually get into Inuyasha. Fucking, uh, it's so fucking boring. It. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, it is. I don't. I don't mind how slow it is, but it, it is really slow. It's like, like, it's, like when you think it's about to end, like they they got like pretty much all the pieces for the Shikan Jewel. Next thing you know, the thing shatters and everything gets scattered again. It's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh look, but... we got all the pieces of the Shikan Jewel. Oh no, Naraku. Oh, he now he has most of them. That's so... hash, that's literally the anime. Like. All the way. I've been I've been kind of yeah just watching Cowboy Bebop every now and then just until I get closer to the end, but um that that's what I'm currently watching. Uh, that's good. This isn't really anime, but I've I've been really getting into Gumball, Amazing World <laughs> of Gumball. I never thought I'd like it. I watched it. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, this is kind of good. I I I hate like most of the new cartoons, so like that's definitely on that list of stuff that I look at. And I'm just like appalled by it. That's, that's yeah. That's a different story altogether. Um, and so I guess as you said earlier, you know, you were talking about the episodes and I like to binge. Uh, how many episodes do you like to see an anime have, uh, if you especially enjoy it as well? Okay, Naruto is the, one of the longer Juggernaut animes that I've actually finished. Um, mm -hmm. I started watching it, watching it, a couple of years, like, a couple of years ago when they got to, when Naruto actually started working with his Jinchuriki. Like they actually started working together during the Great War. And mm -hmm. I started binging. I binged the whole thing. I caught up from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden. I caught all the way up to that point in three months. It was summer. I was like, fuck it. I want to watch this. And it was just nonstop back-to-back -back episodes. I didn't give a fuck how long it was. I was like, I just want to know what happens. 
Because I watched it when I was younger, and it was really cool. I got I got interested in the characters, and I was like, you know what? I want to know what happened. Dude, that's that's me when I'm on a One Piece binge. <laughs> yeah, like I I did One Piece too, but when I got to the mermaid arc scene place area where they were at, like after that arc ended, I I stopped. Are you talking about Fairyland? Stopped, like after the uh, after the Great War. Um. Yeah. 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 Just a right after of... that, when they went to the mermaid place. Yeah. Because because a that arc is awful. Because that arc is awful. The second arc, yeah, I think, ju- and that is that anime is all awful. I I think they lost me right there, but when they finish One Piece or when they get closer to the end, I'll probably binge it again, where I left off. Honestly, you could probably skip the arcs until the uh, the Do Flamingo arc. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's like I've seen some scenes no, from that. A, the uh, the, cool. the fighting and shit's pretty, no, pretty cool. Yeah, like, it, everything everything I, between that and the Great Wars. I, I think One Piece might not work with a lot of people because just for me, it feels like it really holds the test of time. Like, they One Piece feels outdated. I feel like for new people watching One Piece, it definitely would probably feel really outdated because it holds up to a lot of niches that were just used for, like, back-in-the-day anime. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I mean, it's... uh, I, I feel like it's been pretty well updated it's like you can watch the old uh, episodes and you get this feel of nostalgia and then you can yeah skip ahead yeah. and be able to enjoy it like an actual anime from around this time yeah it's fun no, I, yeah it totally blinked out there that, that i was talking about this i was talking about sword art online second arcs that, that were trash yeah not not one piece i haven't actually seen <laughs> too much of one piece but we'll get to that whenever I'm, I'm pretty sure that's your one of your least liked animes that you're gonna go off of that is that, that correct uh no i i liked it for what it was i just i oh. lost interest after a certain point because i just you know the ending wasn't near and i was like fuck dude i'm just no. gonna be stuck waiting for new episodes oh i thought you were like saying you didn't like sword art <laughs> I, I will say oh. though, something that might interest you is that the author is rewriting and he rewrote all of the the uh like everything for the first arc so they might be redoing the anime as well that'd, that'd be probably... nice that it started off really slow in the beginning like it it took until they met with, uh, fuck, what was his name? Chopper. When they met with Chopper, I feel like that's when it started kicking up. Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about Sword Art again. <laughs> yeah, we did. What? Yeah, we, yeah, we started. <laughs> you got no, me confused. It's, it's, it's all yeah. good. It's all good. Uh, it, oh, anyway. <laughs> um, what, what animes do you feel should have had more season and what animes do you feel should have had less? Ooh. More season and less seasons. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think. Death Parade is one of them. Oh. Uh, considering yes. how slow Kekai Sensen's going, I feel like it's going to be a long time before we get a season three for that. I just want that shit to come out, like, right now. Same. Uh, definitely one. A lot of ones works. I just wish they just got seasons on their own. Because he just has really stupid, weird-ass ideas. Like they mob just work. and fucking... Yeah, they just work, work, and I just want that shit, dude. I, I just want to watch the fuck out of it. No, they're uh, all good anime adaptations, too. Like, I really like Mob Psycho, and I really like fucking One Punch Man. But One Punch yeah. Man should be able to get a second season. There's a lot of material They're working there, on it. That's what it's, it's announced and everything. It's coming Sweet. soon. Sweet. Not TM. But, um... And these... God, this this is like an age-old debate, and I know it's... It's not an anime, but I wish... Uh... Avatar... I know it's not an an oh man it's like I want to say it's an anime but it's not an anime because it wasn't made in Japan I guess that's what establishes whether or not yes. it's anime or not that is literally but, the only definition like just because of the art style and stuff like that that's why I want to call it an anime and I I wish and that it, it definitely more. has some aspects taken from anime I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't like uh you know some artists that did anime like in Japan that came over yeah. to Nickelodeon to be honest because you know it it just that's what the art style looks like and it was. It's good. The, it, the way that yeah. I, the way that I've seen uh, it described online is that it's basically a love note to Japan. Like that was kind of the the idea of making it. Man, yeah, probably. I think they nailed it. They got me confused. Yeah, <laughs> I'll argue with anybody over whether or not it's anime <laughs> or not. Uh, all right. I'll argue with anybody. Uh, I don't give a fuck if it's not. Like I'm just like, dude, it's anime. Look at it. It's visually anime. Damn it. What, what the hell? I mean, you can almost say that about Teen Titans too, though. <laughs> Yeah, that's Do you, true. Yeah, you could too. Fuck the new one though. No, no, they Titan kill that shit yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> but as as High Cake posted, you know, the, the, the clip whenever the uh, the show makes fun of the fact that it killed the better show, 
Because it's in there. There's an episode where the TV controlling dude's like, you know, talking about their show that was better, and they're all talking about how that was great, and their show looks like ass. <laughs> and I'm like, well then. Uh. <laughs> but it's so bad, the creators know it's bad. Anyway. Right. Um, so, what is the uh, what do you feel is the saddest anime that you've seen? The saddest anime? Mm, mm. Honestly, Mega Sprite, I, I, we just talked about it, but that is the only anime that's made me, that has tear-jerked me so much mm-hmm. in such a frequent time. Like, there's never been another series that has done that. So I, yeah. I'd probably have to go with that one. And uh, on the flip side of that, what do you feel is the most happy-slash-upbeat anime you have seen? Ooh. Hmm, fuck. There's so many, dude. That's like a tiebreaker. There's a lot that, like, do the very upbeat, like, shit's mm-hmm. going on 24-7 sort of spiel. Mm-hmm. I haven't been watching those recently, so it's hard to, like, think of one that comes to mind. I guess if there was more upbeat anime that I've seen, it'd probably be Dragon's Maid. Yep, or... Yep. There you go. Somebody said that before, too. Or Happy... Happy Anne, or what the fuck was the name of that shit? God damn it. And happy, I forgot the name. I... It comes to mind, but it was pretty fucking. It was pretty wonky. It was about some really crazy shit. And happy, there you go. Some really nice. weird shit. <laughs> cool. Um, and so, uh, what is your least like genre, and why? Oh, probably this is this is gonna be crazy, but I'm not a fan of Gundam related stuff. No, <laughs> I'm not a Shot fan. Shot through like, the a heart. Of, a lot, of, a lot of people love that stuff, but I'm just, I never grew up liking it, and it, you know, because I, I didn't grow up liking it, I never really was a fan. So, like, um, giant robots in general, or is it sci-fi in general? Which... It, it like depends. I remember, was it Gun, Gun Lon? What, what's the anime with the guy with the wicked shades? I mean, what, um... he has like crazy, like you know, the 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 shades. Gurren Logon has. Gurren La- yeah, like that, yeah. I watched the beginning of it, and I was like, okay, this is a Gundam one I can get behind. It's just the comedic relief and everything pulls me in. I just mm-hmm. don't like the gritty shit. Ah, uh, so you don't like the, the serious, like, here's this yeah. background organization controlling the world. And, and here's that's... a bunch of kids that are fighting against the world, you know, whatever. The yeah, government. and it sucks to say, because, like, that's kind of, like, the majority, you know? Yeah, so you're definitely it, against me. N- <laughs> no, nothing nothing against it like i don't mind the scenario it's just the way it's been done throughout the years i just mm-hmm. i can't get behind it oh man so that that hurts me on a fundamental level i i just like <laughs> giant fucking space robots i like a big person that's played a lot, plenty of mech games i mean that's something else oh, i play the I'd games play. though no, I'm don't get me wrong, i play the games oh no i like uh, i play a shit ton of like armored core chrome hounds all that shit that's my jam mech yeah. mech warrior mech whatever anything all, all the mech warrior online all the neck. Insert giant space robot that murders people here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so, uh, again, now onto the other note. What is your least liked anime and why? Least liked anime? Ooh. This is gonna be rough. As much as I meme on it. <laughs> as much as I meme on it. Uh, probably. Pro- probably, uh. It- it'll be a two part. Actually, this will be a two part. I'm. I want to say Dragon Ball Z. I'm mm-hmm. just not a fan. It's just it, the way it's just drawn out the fights. I just can't. It's hilarious. To, the five like to minute long Dragon Ball Z. The five minute long power up sequences. Yeah, that? like if anything, I respect Dragon Ball Z for what it is. I can't watch it, but dra- like the reason why I want to say that it's not my most like my least favorite is because I use Dragon Ball Z for the memes. It's <laughs> got memes. Like I don't have to fucking like it, but it has memes, dude. But I'd probably have to say, like, maybe Bo-Bo-Bo? Is that... Yeah, Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo. That, that shit is just too fucking random for me. I couldn't get yeah. behind it. it just, that's, it like, lost. random... That's Japanese, uh... What is it? Game show random. In, yeah. In an anime. <laughs> so, I... Like, it, it just... It was the least interesting. I, I think it was pretty cool for what it was. But not it's for weird me. And also very stupid. Yep. Yeah. Something so. for little kids. Yeah. It felt like watching a Japanese commercial. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Uh, all right, so uh, now now on to some of the big questions that everybody asks. Some of the biggest fights in, you know, anime, dumb, weeb stuff. All right, first one. How do you feel about subs versus dubs? It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't fight. It really doesn't matter. Like, some have better subs, some have better dubs. People gotta get the fuck over that shit. It's so dumb when people argue between it. It's like, but the dub here is better. Eh, but the sub here, like, for Naruto, I think the dub's better, personally. I don't know. Same. Like, since I got to just get into it and watch it originally, I think, especially since Naruto is the main focus, I just respected those voice mm -hmm. actors more than the Japanese voice actors. I just felt like there was a bit more of a connection between the voice and the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really do think it depends on what you watch a show in first. Mm -hmm. Considering shows are, you know, subbed before they're dubbed. If you watch it subbed, there's a high chance you're going to get lost when you watch yeah. the dub. Because you just, you can't find that connection with the voice. I think that's the ultimate decider. But like, uh, with recent animes, like I know One Punch Man, they got that that dub came out and that was phenomenal mob psycho you know another i mean that's one's work but that's just like one of the things that i've actually i've been watching sub a lot recently but you know that worked a lot um dub for cowboy bebop versus sub Double i away, honestly baby. yeah i i like the dub the only time i would say like i think sub ultimately has the advantage but not in the way people are thinking i think sub is great or I think sub is better than dub, only in the fact that there's there's no censoring. Mm -hmm. um, like dubbed dubbed anime is always censored, and there's some things that you'll never understand because they reword it, and I don't like that. I want yeah. like what it then originally that was. Sometimes it does, yeah, mess up there. Also, sometimes some of the subtitles, like for instance, here, like I'm reading off some of the sites, like I've been you know reading Japanese and subtitles for so long that like. Some of the words I could tell whenever like a subtitler fucked up something, I was like, "That's not what that means. That's not what she just said." My my brain's translated the words into English already, and I'm like, "That doesn't sound right." But I mean, I do the same thing with Spanish. I'm actually like Hispanic, and my grandma used to speak Spanish and stuff like that. I don't speak it very much, but I can read it all really well, and I can kind of understand and translate it. I just don't speak it back because I'm lazy as shit. <laughs> So like yeah. whenever my whenever my family's speaking to me in Spanish, I'm just like I respond in English. I'm like, uh, yes, mm, no, nah, grandma's <laughs> fine, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Like I just respond in English. They know English too. It's just like for some reason, they, I know. Like when they get mad, they start yelling in Spanish. I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down. That's not what happened. Uh, but no, anyway. you understand. So, uh, what are your thoughts on fan service? Fan service. <sighs> I mean. I don't really care. I, it, it depends. If it's like, if the writing is so good that you want to ship certain characters, and they fan so like they know, like they strategically wrote that shit. So like anyone who is watching who likes that style, they're gonna be like, holy shit! I can't wait for these guys. Like they have to get paired up. It just works. I mm -hmm. think like that's pretty cool. I don't like like blatant fan servicing, um, like except like for the... one. There's there's one thing where I'm like, I can let it slide, and it would probably be, because I haven't watched it, but I want to watch it because of how ridiculous it is. It's the one where they're all in, like, swimsuits, and they literally hit each other with their butts <laughs> to knock them in the water. Like, have you seen, I've seen snippets yes. of it. Yes, yes, yes. So I know um, it's out there, but. What is it? Is it, is it, uh, Kaijo? Is that what it is? I think I so. It think might so. be. Yeah. But, like, that's blatant, just 100% like, fan service. But or I it is and isn't. That. It, that is, like, that is the main plot of the anime is using that, your, that's your ass the, 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 the anime even... is fan service. Yeah. The well, anime yeah. is literally fan service. Uh, so, so when you say fan service, you're talking about, like, do you, you, you know, like, the obligatory beach. and stuff like that. The obligatory beach episodes and, like, bathhouse episodes. You just know oh, that kind of stuff? There. No, yeah. that's fine. I think, yeah. I think it's fine as long as you don't do it frequently. Yeah, well, it's like in, it's just in general, like fan service in general. For instance, you know, you yeah. have like straight etchy anime like High School DXD and stuff like that where it's just titties galore and it, that, that's what it is. Like if everyone was demanding like a scene with like the main character interacting with X person and they give it to people, I, I respect that. That's There's nothing wrong with that. There but if go. it was like all the horny people out there, that's the stuff I'm like, uh, I don't really care. It's... I think it's funny at some times, but I'm like, it doesn't really... It's not the appeal, though. It's not what I watch it for. Nice. So, I know you said you're strapped for time here. About how much longer do you got? You good? Uh, whenever I get a call, dude. Oh, okay. Well, we, we almost we basically got through the show. That's most of the questions we have for you. Do you have any questions to ask for us? Hmm. 
Any questions to ask you guys? Wait, hold on. Let me... I guess there's one. There's one that I was asked. It was about, uh, actually, my stream when they were talking about it. It was, would you rather read manga or, like, novels? Or would you, like, what's better? The, the anime itself, like the show? Or the manga and the, the novels? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. I'll go ahead and I'll take it first. Personally, for me, I like the anime better because it's visual and I can, you know, do that. I'm not a big fan of reading. Not like reading manga is actually really reading as much. Like, you know, it's not like reading an actual full novel type thing. However, it's just, it's different whenever it's animated, I guess. Because, like, it's 2D, you know, on manga, and some of the stuff is drawn, you know, and actually makes sense. But some of the manga I don't think captures, like, the beauty of some fight scenes and stuff as well. Like, for instance, Fate series, or any of the, like, hardcore fighting animes that have beautiful, beautiful fight scenes. Like, again, the Fate series, Fate Zero, Fate Unlimited Blade Works, like, that's one of the biggest things. I like a lot of fight anime, I like anime with fighting and stuff like that, but, like, Fate, for me, takes the cake on the scenes and how beautiful and elegantly they make, you know, the battle and just, you know, sparks fly, stuff like that, you know, every time somebody hits it, swords together, so it's semi, I guess, realistic and just amazing. Yeah, I, f I feel like anime really does transform certain things, because, like, with manga and stuff like that, it's really what goes on in your head. I feel mm -hmm. like not yeah. you can't really truly capture what the person who was making it wanted to express when making it. I mean, like, it depends on how good... I, I feel like it depends on how good the, the, the artist art. yeah. is as writing it. Yeah, writing it and actually, like, getting the scenes. Because it's all stationary. You, you've got to fill in the blanks. And I don't like that. I'm not a reader. I'm not an avid reader. I'm not a fan. I mean, I'll read. There are some books that I'm like, fuck that. I want to read that because there's never going to be a visual adaptation. Yeah. So why not? But, I, like, I prefer anime for the exact same reason. There's just a certain feel behind it that I can get behind. It's just a lot nicer for me. But in terms of, like, the, the manga, I, I do think manga has an edge, though. Because a lot of anime skips out on a lot of the manga-related stuff. Dude, I think you truly can't get to... Yeah, you truly can't get to experience something for what it is. Because like Kekai Sensen, literally a vast majority of the plot, a lot of information on the characters, just so much shit is just unknown. Whereas if you read the manga, it is explained thoroughly. Like, you know everything, but like, the show just skips it. You really, you really just get lost. Man, now, now I have to go read the manga. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. that It, it, it sucks, but like... I, I honestly think the more seasons come out for Kekai Sensen, the more you'd understand. Probably. But for Kekai Sensen, I'm not even joking. Like, you have to read the manga. You will not. Maybe not read the manga, but you have to, like, wiki that shit or something. There's there's a yeah. lot of stuff going on that you're not going to know from watching the show. You see, for for me, though, it's uh, it really depends. Because, like, majority of the time, I'll get introduced to a story through the anime. And then uh, it's like, if I, if I enjoy it, I'll go online and see how what other people think in the comparison between the manga and the anime if uh if there's a lot of stuff missing in the anime i'll go i'll have i have to go read the manga like uh that happened to me for elf and lied for example there's just so much cut out that i had to it, lo and behold yeah. elf and lied was a lot better as a manga same thing and for uh rosario to vampire rosario to vampire the anime was shit compared to the manga and it sucks because like they ruin it for or it ruins it for you. In your mind, you're just thinking like, "Fuck, I need to know." Like you yeah. can't. I like this universe. I need to know what the fuck is going on. But then they ruin it. They just like it, yeah. it, well, it takes someone else saying something. Like the manga is actually better for X reasons, and it just kills it. Though, though I it will say, it. my absolute favorite medium though is uh, the visual novels. Yeah, because it, it puts you in the shoes of the character, and it, to me, it just feels complete the other problem with that is that's i'm lazy cool. and i don't feel like clicking through shit <laughs> <laughs> that's why i haven't done fate yet i need to but it's oh, just man. it's gonna take so much time and i can just sit there and watch it and have my head is free and just enjoy the beauty instead of making decisions and dying for them <laughs> which oh, i will yeah. i, I want to make decisions also i get i miss out on like sex scenes and like amazing things but, that's you know. that's another great thing about visual novels is like the uh well one the voice acting to the decision making that can lead you to a completely different ending sometimes yeah. dying in dying Fate's case sex, dying all the time dying sex uh what else is there dying some more i don't know it's good 
dying sex, happy ending with, you know, any of the waifus that you choose, basically, you get to choose. <laughs> That's also nice. It's like, who is best girl? And then you can, you can make that, that your story kind of deal. Um, what about, uh, so do you have any other questions for us? Yikes, I didn't, I mean, this was so last second, I couldn't prepare anything. Oh no, I mean, no, nobody ever gets to prepare. I don't think anybody realizes that I, I have opened it up for questions at the end, but I do. I mean, it's just like, you know, for many of the questions that we went over, like, if you have any questions for us, you want to get us to know us any better or anything like that. That's really all it's for. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't really be able to... To just go on that, you know, I I would have some questions maybe next time if you guys ever have me again. All right, sure. This is fun. I I just don't know. the The only problem with the guest shows is like this is the the outline I have for this, and like I'm not sure how to bring people back on. Like I don't know what I need to how I was gonna do that. So we just basically grab everyone for one show and we just you know, run through the same questions oh. here that I have on the outline. Um, and then after that, that that's it. I mean, you can come join us at some point. That sounds uh, dope. One of our other talks. Somebody did cake and, uh, cake and fucking, that coffee? I can't tell what the, the thing is on the restream chat. <laughs> and cake and coffee? Yeah, no, somebody, somebody is, uh, like, doing icons in the, the chat. <laughs> it's all hmm. good. Um, but anyway, so if you have no more questions, I like to ask you our closing question here. With all this anime talk, are you interested in visiting Japan, the great homeland, the weeb mecca, the amazing place where everybody should get to visit at some point? Nah, that's some fucking money right there. What the fuck? You got me <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> the hell? You got me fucked the- I I'd probably go there to see, like, their, what, the Pokemon store thing they got? I love Pokemon. So they have a bunch of stuff. So, if, you, if you go to Japan, you're gonna do an IRL stream, man? Who, me? Nah. Nah. Him? Damn. Nah. Mate. Nah, dude. I mean, oh. it, there's a lot of places that outclass it, though. I'd rather, like, I want to, there's, there's Italy, you know, I want to go there. That's, that's, like, where a vast majority of my family lives. There's Italy. Mm -hmm. I kind of always wanted to go to France, you know, but Japan is on there. Don't get me wrong. If I could ever travel, Japan would be one of the places, because they got so, some so, weird shit, dude. So you're totally down with going to Japan. That's good. I, I'd be down. We have, yeah. like, a long list of other people that, uh, we're gonna have to get together to go to Japan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I see that the uh, wild man hey, loves us, and he uh, uh, followed. Thank you for the follow there, wild man. Our, our first uh, speakeasy get together is just going to be a trip to Japan. We're not, no, we're no, not going to the, Texas. No, fuck you guys. The first speakeasy get together is definitely <laughs> in Texas. Because y'all, you poor motherfuckers, don't even have jobs. You can't even afford to go to fucking Japan. I can't even afford to go to Japan. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't afford that. You got me. You really do got me fucked up. You think I'm gonna go to Japan? I can't. Like, I can't even go to like what TwitchCon or something. I can't afford that. What the hell? I got you know, crazy. actually, I did it last year, and like TwitchCon would have been about the same price going to Japan for me. It's like, Holy uh, moly. it's like, fuck you, Lord of mercy. Well, it's like, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, the fuck. <laughs> uh, I saw Shadow like, like Japan. But no, um, like, there's Groupons and shit, uh, or whatever, you shop on Groupon, for fucking 1200 bucks, you can get a nine day stay in Japan with, like, your hotels, your tours, everything paid for if you're a travel agency, and I'm like, yo, that's not that, that bad. That is it's dope. Yeah, it's cheap, well, relatively speaking, but it's cheaper than what you could go do and get it done yourself, you know? It's just 1200 holy fuck. Yeah, 1200 to 1500 yep, yep. You That's have to crazy. take somebody with you though. Like you have to get somebody else to party up with you for twelve hundred, um, because I guess they oh, that'd like be easy. they book they book people per room. Yeah, no, so me it's and it's kind of twenty four hundred. Yeah, it's not yeah. too bad. Oh yeah, well, but you know, it's between two people, so like I think that's worth. Space, well. Exactly, I think so too. I think me and uh, me and my other co-host for the other talk show are gonna go uh, this year probably. He said he wants to go this year, and I'm down. I have the money saved up in one of my bank accounts. I just, I just. Don't have a job right now and don't want to spend it yet. <laughs> this kid's spamming is real. I know, right? <laughs> I don't understand, but it's okay because it's like yeah, it's just not, spamming, dude? but it's not. It's not bad. It's not like the other stupid stuff where like, people came and troll and I just banned them. I know, like yeah. the, uh, the the people that were uh, saying that you and uh, Kenneth were uh, doing shit. Yeah. Like this this one comment by Joshua O'Bain. Which one of you receives? And then Testy Chimp, who is on top. Yeah, just like every yeah. time you guys do that talk show. 
Dude, for real. It is like every day. Every time we touch. But anyway, thank you all for joining us for this talk show. Uh, oh, yes, by the way, uh, Mr. Uh, Nerdy, thank you for joining us. Um, Mr. Nerdy. I mean, I don't I don't know what to call you. I like the that, sound of that. There you go. Mr. Nerdy. Um, go ahead and, like, you know, like and follow this guy on his relevant social medias. Go ahead and tell everybody at the at home what you what you got going. And you're on the you're on Mixer or Twitch. I don't got shit, guys. Yeah. If you cho- if you tune into me, it's going downhill. All right, it's everything's <laughs> dying. It's I don't even think it's worth it. I don't fucking stream anymore. <laughs> I I I'm try sure. to, but I'm lazy as fuck. So you know, don't even expect me to stream. Don't don't expect me to. I've I've been trying to post on my YouTube. Don't expect that shit. I'm too dumb to use my Twitter. Like. You can try. You can try. Uh, you can follow me at the nerdy boy underscores between the word on Twitch. Uh, there's a zero in the boy. Just remember that. Um, the nerdy boy with spaces on YouTube. There's a zero in that or on Twitter, which is the same as my Twitch. But come on, dude. You don't want to watch something going downhill. What's wrong uh, with you? man. Fucking great ass content, especially the VR chat shit. Because, <laughs> because I, I invade that shit. It's, it's amazing. Oh yeah, if he snipe me, I guess it's worth. Oh, did That's you fucking it. did you meet this guy on VR chat or some shit? No, I met him watching fucking. Uh, I think it was like Tooth and Nail or some shit. Yeah, it's funny. Alrighty then. Well, like I said, thank you, thank you again for joining us. Thank you everybody for coming out, and hanging out. Well then, chill out in the chat, bro, or you will catch the the almighty grand band hammer. Um, other than that. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Again, thank you for joining, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on the next stream. We're here, usually 7.30 p.m. CST on Tuesdays. Next Tuesday will be the seasonal roundup, as well as I do a talk show every Thursday between 8 and 8.30 p.m. CST. And that is a news talk show, if you like hearing about the news. I mean, some of it's school shooter memes, but I mean, we cover other things, too. Just whatever goes on in the week. Peace out, everybody. Bye, I love you.